At this point, I want to talk a little bit, we've talked about what PAHs are, and I'd like to talk a little bit about what coal tar is and what coal tar-based seal coat is. So this is actually from um, an industry website. Coal tar-based pavement sealer is made from high temperature coal tar pitch. Now, I believe you may have been told that coal tar-based seal coat does not contain pitch, uh, and I believe that that is not correct information. The industry website also lists a whole lot of different names that this material goes by. And I think this is the source of the confusion, and it's quite understandable. When something is called by a lot of different names, it can be confusing as to what is what. Fortunately, there is a way to identify this because there is an international agency called the Chemical Abstract Service, and they assign a unique numerical identifier to all chemical compounds. So regardless of what the compound is called, if it has that chemical abstract service number, it's also called a CAS number, C-A-S, you can identify what it is. So for coal tar pitch, that CAS number is 65996-93-2. So that's like its social security number, regardless of what it's called. If you see that CAS number on a list of ingredients, you know it contains coal tar pitch. So let's look at a couple of different uh, material safety data sheets for different coal tar seal coat products. This one's actually calling it coal tar pitch. There's that CAS number 65996-93-2. Here's another one, refined coal tar. This one's calling it refined coal tar, and I think uh, in many instances now the industry has dropped the use of the word coal, and they're just calling it refined tar. But it still has the same CAS number. It's coal tar pitch. Here's a third one, refined coal tar. 65996-93-2. So I just want to get straight. These products contain coal tar pitch. Why is this important? Because coal tar pitch is, a, is classified as a known human carcinogen. This is a document by the IARC, which is the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Uh, coal tar pitch is also classified as a known carcinogen by the EPA. So that's why it may be semantics, but I do think it's important to bring out. What is the difference between crude coal tar and refined coal tar? Well, coal tar, crude coal tar is the product or what remains after the coking of coal, generally for the steel industry. So the coking of coal involves taking coal, heating it up at very high temperatures in the absence of oxygen to create coke. What's left over is crude coal tar. That crude coal tar is then distilled because it contains commercially valuable fractions. Those different oil fractions are pulled off and sold, and there are a number of other fractions that are then distilled off. They have commercial uses. The residue, what's left, is coal tar pitch. Coal tar pitch is then uh, divided into different grades of viscosity, they're given an RT rating, which to, there's 1 through 12 that describe different grades of viscosity of the coal tar pitch. RT12 is what is used in coal tar based steel coat. So, why are we concerned about coal tar? Coal tar contains PAHs, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and we saw a little bit about their chemistry a few minutes ago. Let's talk briefly about the carcinogenic PAHs. So, the poster child for PAH is, is benzoapyrene. It's the best studied PAH. It is the one that has been recognized the longest as being carcinogenic to the point where most other PAHs are often discussed in terms of benzoapyrene or BAP, that it's 0.1 BAP toxicity or carcinogenicity units or 0.3 BAP carcinogenicity units. This is kind of the gold standard of PAHs, if we want to call it that. Um, Benzoapyrene is present in coal tar based seal coat products at about 0.5%. That's on the basis of, of um, analysis of four different products. This number is about 250 times higher than the concentration that's cited on the industry website. There are seven PAHs, including BAP, that are probable human carcinogens. Not just BAP is not the only one. There are seven. Now, if you're like me, you might wonder well, well wait a minute. Why is coal tar a known human carcinogen and PAHs are only probable human carcinogens? And that's because of the way we go about testing what is a human carcinogen. So 
coal tar exists in the environment and people are exposed to it usually through their workplace. There have been several hundred years of opportunity to check to see the relation between cancer and coal tar. Um, the first examples were chimney sweeps, the little boys that used to send down chimneys in London who were getting covered in the coal tar that was inside the chimneys and they were getting scrotal cancer. So it's been known for a long time that coal tar does cause cancer. Um, we can't test the individual PAHs for carcinogenicity because they, in the environment, always exist as a group. You don't ever find just one PAH. You find a whole bunch of PAHs. The only way to test for carcinogenicity would be in the lab to isolate one of those and then expose somebody to it. But we don't do that. We have an ethical society, and we don't knowingly try and give people cancer. So all of the experiments on individual PAHs have been done on lab animals. It's called a probable human carcinogen because we know it causes cancer in animals. We are extrapolating that to humans, but we don't test them individually. 